I think that the difference between CBDCs and cryptocurrencies is absolutely going to be a large hill to climb. Um, but I don't think that it will, you know, like every other hill we've kind of overcome, it'll, it'll just be another one that eventually people will understand. There's many countries, um, like including uh, the US, mm -hmm. which are working on uh, creating uh, <laughs> one of those naughty words, CBDCs, right? Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it's... It is scaring. I, I think it's funny your reaction there. Um, it's it's kind of my reaction when someone says it as well. Um, you know, and I think that it is scaring a lot of people. You know, for many reasons, right? I mean, we could go on forever all the reasons why it's scary. But you know, I, I think one of the big ones is especially for people's uh, privacy. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, you know, do you find that cryptocurrency and DeFi, right, decentralized finance around that self custody area, you know, it's going to be a way for people to really be able to um, sidestep CBDCs, especially when we talk about, you know, how it can be used in Web 3.0 and how we could potentially be, um, you know, getting to that area of, of being bankless. Yeah, I think that, I mean, as you mentioned, there are many, many reasons uh, to be maybe alarmed by the emergence of CBDCs. But I, I think one of the biggest ones is the confusion in the marketplace that I think is really going to introduce where people are like, oh, I'm using crypto. And again, I guess this comes back to education as always, right? But um, they're not, I mean, CBDCs really aren't even within the same realm of what a decentralized cryptocurrency, they're completely different products. And the, but I think there's going to, again, generate a lot of confusion in the market where people are like, well, what's the difference between these? And it's like, well, they're fundamentally completely different. And uh, I mean, a CBDC is really just, you know, a digital way, again, for like, for people to track and use it. It's not decentralized. It has none of the characteristics of a cryptocurrency, except that it's just digital. Exactly. <laughs> you know? exactly. And so, so I, I uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of education around that, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that as people, and again, the, there, I think there will be that initial confusion, um, but as I think the market will make the differences obvious over time as people learn more, right? You know, and, and we've talked multiple times in this conversation about preconceptions or ideas that people had maybe a few years ago that we've eventually kind of moved past. And now we're on to new challenges of things that people don't quite understand around cryptocurrency and blockchain technology that we're, we need to get past. So I think there's always going to be layers of like deepening that kind of general consensus understanding. And I think that the difference between CBDCs and cryptocurrencies is absolutely going to be a large hill to climb. Um, but I don't think that it will be you know, like every other hill we've kind of overcome, it'll, it'll just be another one that eventually people will understand that there is a clear difference between them and they can, you know, kind of make choices according to that. Um, but again, I always come back to the market will decide, you know, what it wants. And I think that as these tools become more refined and the um, value proposition becomes even more clear of, hey, these are the issues over here with the banking system. By the way, the CBDC is just kind of a digital token of this broken system. Um, you want something different, look over here. And I, I, again, I think that, that that value proposition is just going to continue to get stronger and stronger in tandem with hopefully the tools becoming safer, more secure and easier to use. And so again, we have a ways to go, but I think that there's a lot of just really incredible, smart people working hard behind the scenes to build out those tools and, 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 you know, kind of help us to be ready for when we've got that wave of eyeballs on everything again. And again, how many more cycles that'll take? I don't know. Um, but I think that we're, we're always moving forward, which is exciting. Hi, this is Leah Thompson at Gurgaon Crypto, and you're watching Think Smart Education.